What's up guys, Anthony here with Empire Music, empiremusic.com, phone number at the shop, 412-343-5299. Super excited to show this one off. Uh, this is a Fender Custom Shop Master built by Andy Hicks, Empire 58P Bass. So you know, we've done a lot of videos, a lot of various forms of content on our Empire 58P Basses. We've only had one other one come through that was a master built bass, and we'll kind of get into what separates those things. It's not the specs, it's, it's a, little bit, a little bit different than that. But what's kind of cool about this, and this thing is in Fire Miss Gold, the gold anodized guard. Um, what's kind of cool about when we do the master built stuff, and then us, not everyone does it this way, but us as a shop, is when we you know, put in for a batch of guitars or basses. And when I say guitars, I'll kind of allude to our other Empire models. We do the 67 Strat, the 67 Tele, uh, the 67 Super Strat, and that's in an HSS version and an HSH version. So there's, there's various different things we do as, as Empire exclusives. Um, and there's some specs that kind of carry over. We'll get into that later, um, shortly though. When we place those orders, you know, we, we kind of get in like a batch of them or we put in like a batch of them. So we might put in 24, 48, 12, uh, 6, 8, whatever it is. And that'll be a year, a year and a half, a, a long time before the moment that we actually get the instruments. So whatever, I got about a year and a half ago now, we put in for like the second batch of the Empire 58 bases put in for a couple master builder stuff. So we did like the Vincent Van Trick stuff, but I love the work that Andy Hicks does in the custom shop. And I put in for, I think one or two, uh, I honestly don't remember, but it's a, the, the point is it's like a surprise when the stuff pops through. Like any Empire 58, when the box rolls in, and if you've been in the shop, you know where I sit, it's kind of right in front of the front door. So like UPS or FedEx in the case of, um, uh, Fender, Fender Custom Shop, will come. Fed, we'll see, I'll see FedEx, FedEx Express come because they overnight the packages to us, and uh, they bring in like a 58 box. I'm always like excited when I see like Empire 58 roasted on the on the uh, on the tag. So I saw a Master Bill. Like, oh, what is that? So I like forget the stuff that I ordered. So it's a really kind of cool surprise. The fact that we order so many at a time, and they kind of just trickle in. So I was super excited to see. Uh, this guy popped through. Um, if you're not familiar with Andy Hicks, he's a master builder, one of the newer, newish master builders in the Fender Custom Shop. Does amazing, amazing work. Um, we, I think we had some master builders. They might have left at a time, and Andy ended up building us some of our Empire 67 strats. And there's something about the relicking job that Andy does that I just really, really like because um, a lot of times we get the stuff from him. It, won't be like super blown out relicking. Oh, a, a, <laughs> a point I was trying to make before that too, uh, was the fact that when we place those orders for the master builder stuff, we don't pick the finish and we don't pick um, really anything other than the, the model that we want. We kind of leave it to builder's choice. And on the shop traveler, which is the little piece of paper that comes along with the instruments, it'll say builder's choice on it. So this is like Andy's creation, or, or really anytime you see like an Empire exclusive model that's a master built, that's a creation that like that master builder wanted to do. So really cool about that. We didn't pick the color, we didn't pick the pick card. We picked the specs or the specs for the Empire 58s. But this is Andy's own creation. So these are all really, really one of one instruments, which is really cool. Um, so we're again always excited to see that stuff pop through um but yeah andy stuff i think we saw like originally his name pop up on like the 67s and when they came in i just really liked the the the, the attention to detail that he did in some of the relic work it's not obviously it's not a heavy relic guitar it's just i think they just classified as a relic so it's kind of like the middle ground relicing it's just very very nice it's just again it's the it's it's the it's the details of it it's the way you see the undercoat come through the white undercoat come through on the um on the fire miss gold it's just down to his fret work is Im impeccable and like it's just the feel of the the bass so when we talk about master built stuff 
like our Empire 58 bases are amazing. I mean, I, I play one myself, so I mean, I put my own money into that that product for sure. But there's a next level of like touch and feel on a master built stuff. Those guys are just, they're the best of the best for a reason. And again, it's just, it's in the details, whether it be a visual side of things, but there's a feel too, like right out of the case. Just pick this thing up, the balance of it. It's just the, 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 the wood selection is perfect on it. Um, I cannot tell you how good this neck feels. Um, again, the fretwork is just really, really beautiful on it. So uh, spec wise, not that dissimilar. In fact, not dissimilar at all to our Empire 58 stuff. Two piece roasted alder body, our Empire 58 pickup, which is in here. Uh, one piece roasted maple neck, uh, quarter sawn. 60s oval seized the profile, vintage reverse gear tuners, bone nut, inch and three quarters with that the nut. That's like it. It's just it's just a classic late 50s P bass with the voicing that we kind of do, which is always sits in between 60s and 50s, like late 50s, early 60s, kind of sits right in between there. A lot of compression on the pickup um, by you know the, the winding that we do that we've selected as far as the amount of winds on it. Gives a nice bit of bark and bite and volume, but it also compresses on how you play. So um, we'll kind of roll through. There's not a whole lot of tones you grab out of it. It's a P bass, like I always said before. But let's just check out a little bit of, the same way Joe says in some of his acoustic videos, let's just look at that dynamic range you can pull from an instrument like this. Um, and uh, man, I, I can't tell you how good this instrument feels uh, with with Andy's touch on it. So Andy, if you ever see this video, kudos to you. You did a, an, an amazing job on this bass for sure. So let's check it out. We'll go light to heavy attack, and just you'll really hear how that pickup compresses. That and what I mean by that is when I start to dig in, the the tone of the note and the bass changes, but the volume doesn't spike so much, which is what I love about our Empire 58s. It's kind of the, the hallmark of them, I think. So check it out. Within one passage there, a few different attacks. So you got this sound. Kind of medium attack, we'll call that. Then we go, we dig into it. And then we have like the light attack. There's no way for there not to be some level of, of, of volume difference in it, but it's not so drastic. It almost brings some of those lighter touch notes or, or, or that lighter playing up in volume. Then it takes some of those real heavy handed notes playing down in volume. It almost reminds me of like what a mahogany acoustic guitar gives you where it kind of, it, 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 it sort of, it, it pushes everything kind of down into this, this nice middle section where it, nothing gets too loud or, or too quiet. Love that about these instruments. So play a little more.
the way that when you move octaves on it too, really the way that the, the, the tonal change there is really nice. Check out how different that mid-range like feels and, and sounds and, and when I play a lot of times I, I can like it's like a look to me that like a, what a note kind of looks like which is kind of weird I know but like it just it feels so so different there. So a really magnificent instrument um, from the Fender Custom Shop, master builder Andy Hicks, Fire Mist Gold, really a one of a kind instrument because again, like I said at the beginning of the video, when we place these orders, we don't tell the master builders what color to do. We don't really tell them anything. We don't, even, I don't think we really tell them what kind of relicking to do. Just do your thing with an instrument. It's, it's our platform, but it's a blank canvas for them. So you're really getting a piece of art, a piece of very playable art that sounds amazing um, from Empire Music. Again, phone number at the shop, 412-343-5299. You can also email me directly. It's anthony at empiremusic.com. 0% um, interest financing on stuff, free shipping. Big thing too is like pro setup. So if you call me or you email me and you wanna grab this bass, or if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll put a link below to our entire Fender Custom Shop inventory. If you see anything on there, give me a call, reach out to me. If you grab something from us, it's like, I hang up that phone with you and I go get the bass, I open the box, I play it real quick, make sure everything's cool, get it back to our tech, we do the full setup, we email you the tracking. It literally goes from like, you saying yes to something and then out the door all through like my hands and our tech's hands and our shipping guy Mike's hands. Um, so we're happy to give you that kind of personalized service with it. So again, reach out if you see something that you like. If not, appreciate you watching anyway and we'll see you next time. Thanks.